Welcome to Here for the Beer. I'm Amy. Twas the night before the night before Christmas, and we are in Northampton, Massachusetts at the Sierra Grill for the annual Dogfish Head Vintage Dinner. I don't even have my cheesy sweater on yet. Here at Sierra Grill, we're getting ready for the night before the night before Christmas dinner with Sam Calgione from Dogfish Head Brewing and also uh, his family roots up in Greenfield, Massachusetts. We're down here in Northampton. Uh, we're doing this uh, semi-traditional Christmas dinner, uh, starting off with goose stew. Uh, the entrees, either you got your choice of bison or pheasant, and for the uh, the most traditional course, the appetizer course of uh, lobster egg rolls, because Chinese food does speak all about Christmas. And we uh, were asked by Dogfish Head to do this, and it's going to be a vintage themed dinner. Uh, we're all wearing some goofy sweaters if we can, and uh, most of the beers are in fact uh, at least a year old, and uh, good strong beers. So come home and do a dinner like this and have it be sold out uh, with someone who's such an amazing beer evangelist as O'Brien is, is, is warms my heart. Uh, so I don't have to tell you, as O'Brien already did, how much love and attention went into these pairings in each of these courses. Uh, so we're, we're in for a beautiful night. Uh, thank you uh, for, for, for joining us in it, and uh, cheers. Well, O'Brien and I sat down and decided we we're going to have a traditional Christmas dinner, but with a twist to it somehow. So we started with the idea of a Christmas goose, which we like, but instead of serving that as an entree, we decided to put it as the first course in a stew with some smoked up sausages and winter vegetables, parsnips and rutabagas and golden beets. And of course we wanted to do the Pangea, which led to the next course, was lobster as a traditional Christmas food. What can we do to that to make it a little bit different? It's not lobster ravioli or baked stuffed lobster, so we did spring rolls. And to bring the Pangea example into the food, we did um, in the sauces. We had ingredients in the sauces from all the continents. And everything was made with beers and included you know, beers in the either process of making order in the actual, you know, right in the ingredients. I just got to visit uh, the kitchen staff and took awesome notes. And as passionate as we are about beer and food equally, and I'm probably skewing and some of us at this table towards beer, those guys are so psyched about what they're making on the food side tonight. And nothing in these recipes was uh, prefab. Everything is uh, scratch. And so they're, they're going off in there for all of us. And we went to the uh, main course. We decided to have an option for people, you know, bird or meat. And we did a bison prime rib. It's a little bit different than the typical prime rib, and we did a nice smoked paprika rub on that. And then we did also a choice was a roast smoked pheasant. Took the, these uh, natural, all natural pheasants, split them in half, cut out the hard bones, slow roasted them with a little bit of ale, and then smoked them in uh, broken up wine casks and cherry wood. And then took that and rehydrated and cooked them, reheated them again with another Berkshire steel rail the, when we reheated the birds as well. And then for dessert, we started a few weeks ago, made these little fruit and nut um, tr traditional English Christmas cakes, little individual ones. And we uh, soaked the cherries and Bing cherries with, as well as Rainier cherries, currants, sultanas, and gold raisins. Soaked those in three philosophers, the Luganitis brown sugar, and Southern Tears chocolate stuff. Soaked those for about a day or two in that, and then made the cakes with those the next day. I'm Mariah Caligioni, I bedazzled this sweater myself. You bedazzled that all day, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Sam Caligioni from Dogfish Beer. I did not bedazzle this sweater myself. <laughs> and I am Amy from Here for the Beer, and we will see you next time. Here for the Beer. Cheers. <laughs>